New York City is taking steps to speed up the removal of the worst sites in the city. Scaffolding and construction sheds on sidewalks. Mayor Eric Adams even introducing much harsher punishments for anyone who leaves them up too long. Yeah, our Kieran Dillon is live in Midtown Manhattan to explain the new rules. Kieran. Well, the mayor is calling it the Get Sheds, Sheds Down plan, and basically it targets construction sheds like the ones you see here behind me on this sidewalk on the east uh, side. And basically the goal is to get sheds down like this faster and also to make them less intrusive or, and nicer to look at when they are necessary. Now, the mayor made the announcement yesterday. He says there are around 9,000 buildings in the city with scaffolding. Most are there to protect people from crumbling facades. The majority stay up an average of around 480 days, so about a year and a half. But there are around 1,000 that have been up more than three years and about 260 that have been up longer than five years. Now, the city will find up to $6,000 a month for scaffolding that lingers on public sidewalks past 90 days when there is no work happening but penalties may be waived if progress begins. The mayor is partnering with Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine to make the plan into legislation. We have normalized the sheds all over our city, and that is unacceptable. You got building owners who have done the math, and they've realized that they can spend a little bit of money to rent the shed or pay a million dollars or more for the repairs, and they're just opting to take the cheap way out. And that's unacceptable. So there will also be low interest loans for building owners who say they really cannot afford to do the facade work. And the plan will also pilot using safety netting instead of sheds on city buildings. Now some business owners who have sheds or scaffolding up around their properties are reacting. This went up maybe six months ago. We're always doing work around here. It's not really helpful for business whatsoever. So this plan will also uh, require or allow now for sheds that are uh, necessary here in the city to be a little bit more visually pleasing. So now you might see some lighting on them. You might see art installed and you may even see some that are different colors. Usually we see green or gray, but now this plan will allow them to be different colors. So when you're walking down the uh, sidewalk in the future, you may see some more visually pleasing scaffolding. That's the latest from the east side. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News.